Start free and low closure, okay? Listen, our mission of this program is to take people to a place they can't take themselves. All of us in here, okay, have to make that kind of commitment. We're gonna take each other, listen to me. Every night when we step out there, we gotta outcompete somebody. We have control over that. If we do that, we're gonna have a hell of a year. And I'm telling you right now, Loyola Marymount is back. Optimism is high on this campus that Loyola Marymount has a legitimate chance to return to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1990. Thirty-one years. That's how long it's been since Loyola Marymount University has made the NCAA tournament in men's basketball. But going into the second season of Stan Johnson's hiring as head coach, that drought has the possibility of ending. My name is Stan Johnson. I'm the head coach here at Loyola Marymount University. Well, my journey has been different in a lot of respects. You know, I'm a guy who came from Liberia, West Africa. I didn't play basketball. Maybe I started at the age of 11, 12, around there. Hey, the one thing, Q, when you're driving and the guy's on the move, don't hit him while he's still going, right? You got to that's what you got to jump stop, let Joe get his feet set. It's going to be a travel or he's not going to be able to shoot the ball the right way. My first stint, I was Division II assistant coach living in the guy's basement in northern Minnesota. So again, like, you need to call his name when you're passing, call for him. Hey, David, ball, Jalen, ball, talk to your teammates. Most of all, it's giving me gratitude and appreciation. Uh, to be where I am right now, knowing where I came from. I need you to know the two as well. I got you. You know what I mean? So we're going to start with you in these plays. Okay. But unlike last year, you're going to have to play some of that too. The Lions are positioned with their best team on paper since the days of Bo Kimball and Hank Gathers and are led by a coaching staff who came to Los Angeles with a plethora of postseason experience. Things are looking promising on the block. Yet the Lions believe that it isn't their lineup nor their coaching staff that will get them to where they want to go. It comes down to one thing, culture. Culture is at the heart of everything the Lions do. It's what they believe got them from a projected 8th place conference finish to a hard-fought third last season within the WCC. Loyola Marymount runs by the saying, Haja Kamalika, or Swahili for incomplete. The same goes for their culture. There's always more to do. So much so that the group is traveling to San Diego for a three-day culture advance. spent as much time, resource, money to come up here if we didn't think it was important. It's only important if you take it like it's important. Like I said today in the huddle, we're not going to walk in and just out talent people. That's okay. Very few teams in the country can do that. What we can do is out culture people. What we can do is out connect people. What we can do is out will people like you did last year. What we can do is outspirit people. But to do that, we have to give of ourselves. And I'm telling you guys, we have enough talent. We have enough talent. Family on three, one, two, three. Family! The culture advance was a way for us to become more connected, to go deeper uh, as a program, uh, individually and collectively, to get to know each other on a way more intimate level. I don't know about you guys and coaches. I My best experiences in college were like on the bus. They're my best experiences. You know, I remember last year after those wins, man, just how loud you guys were and fun. Even last night coming up, listening to you guys, that's how you bond. 
And this is my first team here. Where you at, coach? Innocent climb is something I actually stole from Pat Riley. And what it is really is as you climb the mountain, as you climb excellence, as you try to reach a certain pinnacle, there is a certain level uh, that becomes a little harder. And it's the last 10% of the climb. And to do that, you have to do it with a pure heart, a pure spirit, a pure mind. All intentions has to be about getting to the top of the mountain. It has to be about that team. Guys, we're right here. We're right here. Now, can you fall below that? <laughs> we're here, that doesn't mean we get to stay there. We're here and we wanna close this gap. But we can also, we can end up back here if we're not careful. I hope that advance allows us to fight harder for one another because we all understand where one another is coming from. The name of this advance was the Innocent Climb. So I came up with this contract, right? The Innocent Climb Agreement. The Lions autograph a pair of basketballs that will travel with them everywhere they go throughout the season, reminding them to have joy and to value the innocent climb throughout their journey. I thought you guys did an incredible job. I thought you came in here with the right mindset. You veteran guys, you set the tone. You knew guys, you came in you, and you, you fit right in. We had guys that hadn't been here that, that came in, did a great job. I hope we feel like we grew a little bit. We grew closer and we identified some things we got to continue to work on, all right? And we set, hopefully, the standard for, for what our year is going to be.